Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the beginning of my channel. My name is Miranda Perez, also known as Mimi the G, and today we are going to kick things off with some bomb fashion content. This is something that I know everyone needs, especially as like fashion lovers, trend warriors, uh, consistent shoppers, people with small spaces. It's like we have all these things where do we put them and how can we make them look cute? So personally, I have a small-ish attic bedroom with a small closet right over there. And I've always had a clothing rack in my room for the look, for the design, for the aesthetic, as they say. And now, since I've consistently done that throughout high school and I have worked retail jobs, I've learned how to make a clothing rack what can be kind of an eyesore to people is now something that gives a quirky element to your room shows off new clothes shows off color schemes all of that so today we are going to organize a clothing rack my way uh focusing on design element color complementary to the bedroom and then also retail studies and reflection let's get to it side of my bedroom we have a white steel metal question mark uh adjustable clothing rack that was gifted to me by my mother in high school so i have no idea where it's from but i will be able to link similar options in the description box uh white is something that just happens to complement different aspects of my room like the trim is before but definitely feel free to choose black gray i mean be creative it's it's your space so what I like about this is that I have made it small enough to work in this crevice of my attic bedroom and because of that it just fits right into the space and it doesn't look as much of an eyesore so I definitely say objectively place the clothing rack before you place stuff on it. Make sure it's not distracting, make sure it's not in the way, make sure it's not a hazard and then get to work. When choosing what goes on this rack, I always think, what am I wearing most? What season are we in? And how can the colors complement my room? So it's not seen right now, kind of, with the vanity, but I have a lot of green furniture and green accenting in my room, along with the white. So what first came to my mind was it's spring. Florals for spring, how original, would be a great option. Um, browns and neutrals, stuff that I, gravitate toward or that I'm constantly pulling out of my closet to wear and to style and or stuff that I know I really want to wear so we have these goodies that are going to be placed on the rack so we are working with browns beiges blues greens creams golds denims tweeds I have a lot of a lot of options here and what we're going to do is we're going to place them in a way that works within their color scheme that isn't necessarily light to dark or green to blue it's going to be a way that is pleasing to the eye as if you would walk into a store because that's really what I want my room to look like what I typically do when I start placing items on a clothing rack, because I'll start with maybe like one standout piece, which would be like this ruffled pattern, exaggerated top. And I'm like, where would I want this? Do I want it to be in the front or in the back? If it's in the back of the clothing rack where people enter my room, then that'll be the first thing they see. Or do I want it towards the front and keeping it simple, coming in? It also depends on the other pieces that you have presented to you so one thing in retail that we constantly are fed is reflection so you'll see clothing on a corner in a corner of a room in a store on a rack or folded and you won't notice that they reflect each other and it's a marriage and it's strategically done so you can look at the space and think oh brown like I'm gonna buy all of these brown things so since I want this to be one of my first items that I put up, I went ahead and added it in this blazer in the brown family, but not necessarily um, exactly the same, which is fine to do what you feel looks best. And then I'm going to separate them with something that works next to both of them, which is this cream 
silk button up blouse but that also doesn't distract from the color scheme that we have going on and the best part about adding in something light is that it'll create a story of how you're going to wear them so like this is screaming like business or work or polished and then from there i think of the other colors i want to add in so i have more brown i have a satin dress that needs to be ironed okay and I'm okay with that. I'm honestly feeling the pattern of dark to light, even though it's not necessarily the same colors. Remember that. And then I also have a brown dress that can get thrown into this color scheme. That we need to switch the hanger out for. Just like I said, <laughs> that's not cute. One thing I really like to do is make sure all the buttons are buttoned, make sure the collar is facing out right, make sure the collars are all facing the same way and they're hanging the same way so it looks super presentable. But this right now is giving me just too much brown. Leave it like this and it's like, okay, brown color scheme on the clothing rack, that's fine. But since I've been into a lot of greens and blues, we're gonna throw in those pops of color to make it more spring, um, more fun, and not necessarily so monochromatic, though that's a good look on a rack too. I personally like having a few colors at a time that I'm into and then working from there. So I'm gonna take this jean dress and break it up here. And then I'm gonna mirror it with another jean dress, but note how it's a different color, different shade. And then already we're seeing a new pattern that isn't necessarily brown, blue, brown, blue, cream. It's definitely its own concept, its own mood board. So I'm gonna take this blouse and throw it in the mix too. Probably towards the back is what I'm feeling because we already have, you know what? I'll leave it here just to separate the browns because that's just a little too much for me um one thing i do want to note is i have another statement top in addition to this brown one so once i'm throwing in the greens which is what i have left i want to think of what's a great placement for it and right now i'm thinking the back of the rack since this side already has something fun and textured It'll be cool to have this over here so people can see it when they walk in and get gravitated towards it. And then it's also a conversation piece. Now we're gonna move on to this tweed, blue and green and white dress. Throw it, break up this brown and this cream, and then note how the dark blues are working with each other. And now we're starting to see how the greens are becoming more of a drawing factor. I'm gonna take this silk night weave and place it Personally, I wouldn't prefer to like, I wouldn't prefer putting similar pieces next to each other. So I was instantly like, oh, I'll just put it by the brown, I'll separate it. But these are so similar in structure that you can barely see them anyway because they're so thin and silky that it could be better to throw it in here where it'll get its own time to shine and it won't be confused for the other item. The last thing I'm going to take is this jumpsuit, which I was iffy about adding on because it is pretty long. So it does touch the shoe rack, which obviously in hindsight would have shoes on it, but we're not gonna do that today. Um, but sometimes I just don't like to see stuff hitting the shoe rack or like the floor if your rack doesn't have a bottoming just cause I'm like, it's dusty and like, it should be in a more elevated space. 
which you can adjust the rack, but for my case, it's gonna be here. So we're seeing like dark green, dark blue. Bring in some more green. So this area was kind of bland, and then the straps were too. It was too much for me in one area. I wasn't in. I wasn't into it. So now we have the final product. And I mean, just from a side point view, closer to the camera, you're already drawn to be like, "What's this? And what kind of material is this? And why is this here? What can I wear this with?" And that's exactly what they do in retail. That's what we're taught to do consistently as associates and stylists is to make sure everything looks appealing and that you can wear these items together. So that's really what I try to focus on too is that I can just grab the dress and go or I can grab the blazer and put it with one of my dresses and be fine and be ready for my day versus thinking, well what's in my closet? Well you know because it's in front of you at least what you know you're trying to wear for a set amount of weeks. now that we are done with the wrap, I want to say, please keep in mind that I had all these pieces laid out. I had a color scheme in mind. I'm working with what's in my room and that should be the first step. Then go ahead and go crazy and add in all the clothes, switch them out, pull things from your closet, put things back. Do what feels right in the moment because even myself, I had it planned out and I was like, eh, this doesn't look right. That is going to be the key to the most aesthetically pleasing clothing rack that you can have in your space that clearly doesn't take away from your room, it adds on to it. So just wanna say thank you for watching. Thank you all for the support I've gotten thus far. 50-ish subscribers in a week is pretty phenomenal because I thought I was gonna do this YouTube stuff and people were gonna like bug me, but not really. And here we are and I'm making content. The goal is to continue posting weekly a day will be chosen as I figure out my filming schedule and how I edit and how fast I really can turn videos over. But as of right now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment for anything else you want to see for me. Of course, like this video, subscribe, do all the YouTuber stuff to help me get going. And thank you. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye.